National spotlight tonight, Arizona and the abortion rights issue. Causing a stir, State Senator Eva Birch, uh, Birch announcing on the Senate floor today that she is going to have an abortion. News 4 Tucson's Megan Spector joins us live from downtown to explain why Birch made her decision so public. Megan. Well, Sean and Monica, this abortion debate in our state is not a new topic, but this Arizona senator is now sharing her own story to push for change. I don't think people should have to justify their abortions, but I'm choosing to talk about why I made this decision, because I want us to be able to have meaningful conversations about the reality of how the work that we do in this body impacts people in the real world. On the Senate floor Monday, the pregnant Arizona lawmaker Eva Birch announced she was getting an abortion. After numerous ultrasounds and blood draws, we have determined that my pregnancy is once again not progressing and is not viable. And once again, I have scheduled an appointment to terminate my pregnancy. Pushing her message in support of Arizona abortion rights and carrying that message from the Senate floor to the media. Birch appeared on MSNBC's show, The Readout. It's never easy to share the most private moments of your life at a time where you're feeling loss and feeling vulnerability. But I knew that this was a really unique opportunity. Uh, I'm right in the middle of what's really the most critical intersection in the, in the conversation about reproductive health care and access to abortion. Sharing her personal story, she says protocol and requirements to get an abortion are dictated by legislation, not by doctors or medical providers. What we really should have is a stakeholder process when we're creating laws about reproductive health care, which would include medical organizations and doctors, people who are working directly in their field, uh, but they're just being legislated against. It's extremist politicians with no background in health care who are essentially writing these scripts for the, the doctor. While also reminding people that her story isn't unique. The abortion patient can come from anywhere and can be in any different circumstance that might what's happening to me is really common pregnancy yeah. failure and pregnancy loss is incredibly common and we are patients too and all of our rights deserve the same regard now as we've been covering on this topic the arizona for abortion access campaign is currently petitioning to get arizona abortion rights on our ballot in november now i'll send things back to you in the studio for more well, thank you, Megan. And the group Arizona for Abortion Access says they need about 400,000 valid signatures by July 7th. Arizona law currently prohibits abortion after 15 weeks. The Arizona for Abortion Access Act would remove the number of weeks limit and make it a case by case basis between the medical provider and the woman. This hot topic is something News 4 Tucson has spoken about to many pro-life and pro-choice advocates here in Tucson. If women want choose to murder their baby, the problem is they don't realize it's a baby. They're told it's just a clump of cells and life begins at conception and that's scientific fact. I just want people to understand that abortion is a very broad term and that the patient deserves that right to decide. To learn more about abortion laws here in Arizona, just head to our website, kvoa.com.